Welcome back, guys and girls, to the Black Ops 3 campaign. We cruise right along into Mission 2, The New World, which takes place in Zurich, Switzerland. I don't know how we're even going to fight because both our hands were freaking ripped straight from our body by that evil robot at the end of the last video. Our leg was broken and we were left to die. Hopefully things start looking up. And thank you guys for making that first video so special. I appreciate all your support. I'm glad you guys are loving it. I can't thank you enough for being a part of this series with me. If you guys want more and want me to make it fast, just smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below and I will do my best, work my butt off, to bring you new episodes ASAP. Without further ado though, we have work to do. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're not smarter than you. Achieved our objectives. A man's always gonna be better than machine. But unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Oh god, have we been turned into a... an android, a synthetic? A robot? Ourselves? Mission 2, baby. Let's do this. Hey. Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor? Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. That's creepy. <laughs> December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. <gasps> Uh-oh. Holy crap. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What's happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Oh, baby. We're inside some simulated training course, but of a real incident in the past or the future. Whoa. Uh oh. We gotta stop this train accident, baby. Some RPG! Whoa! 1130 AM, December 11th, 2054. Holy cow. Zurich security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor. You're a fucking dick. 
You didn't hear shit? If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Oh, man. All this crazy... <laughs> All this insane, like, future uh, Neuralink stuff. Pretty cray-cray. I like it, though, and my gun is, like, massively powerful all of a sudden. Listen to that gun, jeez. We are rocking and rolling Diaz and Taylor. Lead me into the future, baby. I am half woman, half machine. Whoa, no grenades. Bad throw. At first I was gonna say that the train kind of reminded me of like some Hunger Games type stuff. Uh, because we're like on this pretty future train. And then all of a sudden it turned like a minority report. <laughs> Different paths yield different advantages. Okay. I like that. A little bit more open to the battlefield this time around. I want to see what my neural interface can do. These guys are all simulated, so they just die in a puff of pretty blue smoke. Can I burst that thing? There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it gives me like alerts of grenades, enemies. All sorts of stuff. That's hot. Man, that makes things a lot better. All right, Henderson. Wow, a one-man robot wrecking crew now. Can't still can't fire through stuff 100%. Oh, there's dudes up here too. Okay. We good? Let's move, baby. Diaz, what's up? All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Okay. All right. Press X while running parallel to a wall. Let's see. Eh, I can't run on this wall. All right, let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Here we go. You got a wall run to get across yes. the gap. <laughs> Not bad, I like it. Not bad. Mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. Cool. You see flashing red? Move. Ooh, that guy's armored. I like that. Little notifier. Dropping a grenade. Okay. Let's head to the upper level for a better point of view. Diaz, you got him? There we go. Wall running our way across the battlefield. That's pretty sick. I like the movement a lot. We got to see it in multiplayer earlier this year with the beta. But I like the movement a lot more in uh, Black Ops 3 than I did in Advanced Warfare. It felt like too much in Advanced Warfare. They represent Not somewhere you oh, interesting. Okay. But what I was going to say is like it's a little bit more restrained here in Black Ops 3. And I think it, it works better. It's like a smarter usage of the... Uh, of mobility, of futuristic mobility, without getting too to be too much, you know. Like they found that sweet spot. Like when you cook, cook a chicken just right, and you're like, mmm, tender but also cooked. It's beautiful, and that's what this game is so far. Oh baby, hello. Didn't see you around here. I do like these more uh, varied routes. Uh oh, this is not a good zone to be in, apparently. Whoa. Come on. I love this gun, this XR2 burst. Pretty hot. Whoa! Alright then. Getting shot from behind? No. My teammates are, are flanking them, or I'm flanking them, rather. Helping out my squad quite a bit here. Oh, dang. Oh, I like that. You can see where the grenade lands? That's awesome. Okay, we like sync our, our stuff together. This future is really sick. Alright, hang on. I want to get to the upper floor. Just 
Check your ammo. I got Grab it. more if you need it. All right. That's a kill zone right there. Pop your head up, buddy. Come to Papa. Oh, there's a dude here as well. There we go, a good grenade throw. These guys try to avoid the fire, and that leads them right into my pathway. Uh oh. Ooh, I love that. Look at that little like signature showing where it's gonna blow up and who it'll affect. Guys on fire. I don't like the fire screams, but hey. Sometimes you gotta deal with the bad in order to achieve the good. Oh, it's wall run here. The wall run feels really natural, by the way. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Oh my gosh, we can hack in like ground drones, flying drones. Alright. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere <laughs> through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Alright. Here we go. Let's go find the generator. Ha <laughs> I like it. I like it. He's controlled pretty well. And we can just take Yo, dudes out. Cool? Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. Flaming fire on all these poor guys. Okay. My machine gun looks like a laser blaster from Star Wars level nonsense. Oh yes, right here. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Double death. Who's firing at me? Oh, there's dudes back here. Foe to friend. Alright, you can see I guess where I've taken damage on the left wing there. There she is. Throw that generator so we can get inside. Okay. Taking a little bit more damage. Oh, it's not on the left wing, it's just showing like my level of heat and damage, I guess. No worries. Mission accomplished. Come on, let's go. I'm on you, Diaz. Ooh, it looks like we just acquired some perk. You can see in that circle we've got like a weird picture image thing. Some Grab ability. Fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. What is our ability we got? Hmm. Hopefully we get to use it soon. Oh man. Uh oh, it's a bipedal robot you can see, or it's some sort of robot. Alright, I guess we'll work our way up a little bit more. A little bit slower. Dudes with snipers and scopes. Oh, they're turrets! They're like robotic turrets. God. Take a lot of shots. There we go. It's dark in here. You can even see my damage signature on the left hand side there, the bottom left. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote hijack on those turrets. Oh yeah? Really? Sexy. Nice going. Oh, ho, ho. There we go. That's how we get the job done. Get out of here, turret man. I think we've killed everybody, for the most part. I think it's all clear. 360 says... Uh-oh, a few more. I do like this. Alright. A few more guys, I just can't hear where they're at. Where are you, buddy? Oh, I'm good. Dumbass. Thought their turrets would protect them. 
Nope. There we go. It's like the side street here. Kill zone. There we go. That was a good grenade kill. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, it's a bad it's okay. memory. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. It's like I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I lived it all over again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. Creepy. Doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. What happens now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Okay. Got it. They hit a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. Botch the salt man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So, what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. That's pretty awesome. Oh, jeez. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's going to feel any less real. Use your imagination. Oh, baby. In this creepy apartment. With this creepy lady. In a fake future past with false outcomes. Sending his location to your HUD. Where, okay. All right. Come on now. Pick up the trail. Gotcha. Keep going. Robots go down faster than I thought they would. Good work, Hall. Good work. I still have line of sight. There he is. See him? Watch out! Oh. Our boys hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? He's running scared. Not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. 
I like this like uh, parkour stuff. To get over the maglev train. What? Billboard? Oh, there. Okay, I was gonna say. Which one are you talking about? There's all these flashing lights. All right. He's heading into Old Zurich. Move. All right. Activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. Nice going. There we go. Nice <laughs> I like system your cyber paralysis. Abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Oh, that's the big circle. Okay, our cyber ability is cool. Oh, I love that. I feel like a freaking wizard. Clamber mantle. Nice, nice. Whoa. My abilities. I got it. I got it. Just had to let that thing recharge a little. Don't lose him now, newbie. Okay, hold on. Nice job, new blood. Poor business people are like, what is going on? Don't take him out, newbie. We need him alive. Okay. Grab him, new blood. Alright, I got him. Now's your chance. Take him down. <gasps> Boom. Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Oh, God. Dead. Believe me. This is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. You said it yourself. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. Absorbing his conscience, killing his soul. Moral gray area, that's for sure. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. All right, then. Guess we're passing with flying colors thus far. Well, this game is getting super cool. Mission number two ups the ante times like a hundred over mission one, and I can't wait to finish it with you. It's a super long mission showcasing a lot of powers, so I'll bring you that next video ASAP. If you want more today, just leave a like, show some love, and I'll do my best to get it to you as fast as I can. Thank you so much for being amazing. I love you guys so much. Black Ops 3 continues soon. Until that time, drink so much. We'll see you all. Oh, we'll see you all later.